in the sequence designed by vinyasa flow teacher Elise Lorimer. Sit in a cross-legged position and connect to your breath. As you inhale, imagine sending roots down through your pelvic floor into the core of the earth. Feel the earth's energy rebound to your center. As you exhale, imagine drawing the energy of the sun in through your crown to your heart and expand your energy back toward the sun in gratitude. Continue to create this balance as you ride the waves of your breath and soften inward. Come to standing for a standing side bend. Place your feet hips width apart. Anchor each foot equally into the ground. Raise your arms overhead. Turn your left palm out. Flex the left wrist and grab it with the right hand. Extend from your feet up through your hands while releasing your upper trapezius down your back. Inhale, lengthen skyward. Exhale, lean to the right gently, using your right hand to lengthen your left arm. Breathe deeply into your left side body. Keep your feet and legs steady. Inhale, lift back to center. Take hold of your right wrist with your left hand, right palm facing out. Lengthen your spine and exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, root your legs to the earth. Exhale, expand your energy toward the sun. Soften the tops of your shoulders. Feel your side body open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release your arms by your sides. Come on to all fours for Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog Pose. And place your hands shoulder widths apart. Press into your palms. Curl your toes under and lift your knees, drawing your hips up and back. Ground into the earth with your hands and feet as you draw awareness in through the bones of your arms and legs to firmly hold your body in balance. Take full, easy breaths as you connect to the space in your hips, loins, lower back, and pelvic area, releasing tension and finding grace. Step your right foot between your hands for horse pose. Rotate your left heel down. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. Lift your spine up off your front thigh parallel to the floor and reach your arms straight back by your sides, harnessing the power and stability of your legs and core. From the grounding of your back shin, extend your arms forward and let your gaze follow. Feel a line of energy from your back leg through your belly, front spine, heart, and pinky fingers. Maintain awareness of this energy as you continue to root into the earth and lengthen toward the crown of your head. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor and step your right foot back to down dog. Step your left foot forward and turn your right heel down. Adjust your left hip back and your right hip forward and lift your spine off the left thigh arms reaching straight back. Now draw into the power of your legs and core and extend your arms forward. Gaze forward as you find the line of energy that connects through your back leg up through your belly, spine, heart, and fingers. Expand your awareness of this energy, feeling stable and strong. Exhale, lower your hands to the floor and step back to down dog. Step your right foot between your hands for Virabhadrasana one, warrior pose one. Lower your left heel to the floor. Inhale, lift your torso and bring your arms up overhead. Connect your palms and gaze up. Now you'll ride the wave flowing between warrior pose one and a side squat to open and lubricate your hips. Exhale, take your hands to the floor inside your right foot. Turn to the left, draw your left heel in slightly, walking your hands along the floor as you bend your left knee and straighten your right leg. 
Inhale, bend your right knee, straighten your left leg, and return to warrior one. Again, exhale, lower your hands to the floor, turn to the left, bend your left knee, and straighten your right leg. 